During the campaign of Bonda Metinumbu, when he has not become president, there are some promises he made. And I think in all the whole promises that Tinumbu made, it is only one that he has kept. Now, to be honest, there are a lot of scams in this administration of Bonda Metinumbu. And one of the scams is first subsidy. A lot of people are still claiming that Tinumbu removed the first subsidy. But that is not the truth. He's still paying the first subsidy. So he promised to do that. He was unable to do that because he don't know how to do it. But what is this promise that Tinumbu fulfilled? That is the student loan, yes. Right from 2015, um, Tinumbu said that the administration of Buhari is going to give student loan and so on and so forth, that one naira is going to be to one dollar. Well, it is understandable because he is not the president. He's just the leader of the All Progressive Congress. So when he was campaigning election again, that is uh, 2022, stroke 2023, he said that he is going to give students you know, opportunity to loan money to go to school later, they pay back. And I think that is what he has implemented. But there are some things I don't like about the student loan. The people he appointed to manage it and the amount of money that they are going to lend to students. Come to think of it, that is just five billion. It is less than the money they used to construct a car park for the legislatures, for the senators. The student loan is less than the money they used to construct the car park. But I must give it to him. You know, I like people that when they talk something, they do it. Or you can come out and brag what you have done good in the past. I like it. And that is the reason why I fell in love with B2B last year. And I'm still in love with his ambition of becoming the leader of Nigeria in the person of the president, if things continue to be like this. So I think um, the implementation or the signing of student loan in Tobio is good. Now, there are some conditions that is attached to the student loan. You see, it's like when a devil is giving you food. This student loan is like when a devil is giving you food. How can you put it in a condition that before you can assess the student loan, somebody like a magistrate will come and sign for you. Somebody who is up to the level of magistrate and so many conditions was attached to it. If you know a magistrate, I don't think you will need a student loan. I think the magistrate should be able to help you in your academics by funding your studies. So these are the things that we call the problem of the political elite. Sometimes, I also tell Nigerians, I know that we have a lot of differences in our country because of our culture, our values, the way we see things and religion. But I do tell people that we have two set of people in Nigeria. They are not Yorubas, Igbos, Hausas, and so on and so forth. They are the political elite and the poor masses. And anyone who tries to stand with the poor masses we suffer for it. That was what Pitobi suffered in the last election. So these people, you would imagine that, don't be surprised that this student loan will be assessed by politicians' children as well. If you're not a youth leader, if your brother is not a party youth leader, you can't even assess the student loan. It's going to be like that. So that is one of the problems we are facing. There are a lot of corruption in this uh, current APC administration. That is our part. Now, let me digress a little to talk about the issue of Beta Edu. Beta Edu, they have been probing the lady, whether they are probing her, I don't know, ever since nobody is talking about her again. But that is her part. Even though she did not commit any crime that they're supposed to arrest her or do anything, but let them come out to tell the public, oh, we suspected this lady, we have conducted investigation, she's not guilty, or she's guilty. Let us, let us be transparent. Transparency is very important in every governance. So back to the issue of student loan. The reason why I am saying all these things is because, yes, Tinumbu implemented the student loan, but student loan he implemented is more or less unaccessible to students who really need it. The poor people who really need the student loan can't assess it. So let me know what you think, but I must give it to him because... He promised that he's going to do it, and he did it. Even though it's five billion, it's just nothing to compare to up to 180,000 students we have in Nigeria. It's not going to go anywhere. I think Nigeria has the capacity to give free education to the masses. So let me know what you think about this implementation of student loan. Thank you.